Hey, 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 I hope you are doing well today. Today is December 15th and time for another Debt Snowball update. I complete Debt Snowball updates on the 1st and the 15th of every month. So if you aren't already subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell so you know when I upload new videos. Now it being December 15th, y'all, we have 10 days till Christmas and we are wrapping up 2019. Wow, 2020 is knocking at the door. I hope you're able to finish this year in good health and good cheer. Now, I normally review my monthly budget goals, so here we go. One is to stay in budget with my holiday spending, and that's been going really well. No problems there. Now, when I set these goals, I was planning to make the debt snowball payment to American Express, but if you saw one of my recent videos, you know that a medical bill has come through that will take its place. So the debt snowball payment will go to that medical bill instead. My dad's birthday is coming up, so I'm still looking forward to celebrating with him. Now on to my debt balances. So I've already created a worksheet. I'm going to retitle this for the 15th. And with that recent medical bill, I am going to update my debt amount. Even though this isn't the starting debt amount, it is my overall debt amount. I'm just gonna take this and add this amount plus 1884 62 and that brings the debt amount to 55 358 29 55 358 29 okay so i'm making that adjustment there and then i'll just delete that formula and everything else adjusted. You could see the debt paid so far and the percentage also adjusted. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a line here because we'll be adding in that new medical bill. All right, now to updating these other balances, the blue green remains at $7,958. The American Express is at $5,925.61 and I had made a $200 payment before that medical bill came in so that's why that decreased and for the medical bill the balance sits at $1,684.62 so $1,684.62 and I've managed to make a $200 payment to this one so far as well and so the starting debt amount sits at $55,358.29. The debt paid so far is the difference between these two, but you can see this one's kind of throwing an error. I already know what that's about, but let's take a look. And it says the formula omits adjacent sales. And so what I'm gonna do is just double click on that. And you can see it's not including this bottom one. So I'm just gonna drag down this corner to make sure it includes it and it's B3 through B5, quick Excel lesson there. And so my current debt amount is $15,568.23. The debt paid so far also updated because it's the difference between that debt amount and the current debt amount. So the debt paid so far is at $39,790.06. The debt paid so far is 71.88%. And again, that current debt amount has increased with the introduction of that medical bill, which again, I plan to pay off by the end of January. So no sweat. I'll get it knocked out sooner than later and move on. So let me know how your debt snowball is coming along. Hopefully you haven't had any or too many unexpected expenses come up recently, but you know how we do. We just roll with it. I hope you have a great rest of your 2019 and I will chat with you later. Bye.